everyone. Happy Sunday. I'm Teacher Lulu. And I'm Teacher John. Teacher John, how have you been these days? Mm, when I study or do my homework, it's very hard for me. I think I have so many shortcomings. Oh, then you should attend today's Sunday school. It will give you a new heart. Mm, I'd love to. Shall we go now? Yes, let's open today's Sunday school with prayer. Let's close our eyes and gather our hands. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you for such a beautiful day and we thank you, Lord, for allowing us to meet you here. We pray that, Lord, you open our hearts as we learn song and dance, as we listen to your word and as we do Bible craft. We thank you for blessing us and we thank you for the precious blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. I am so glad to do song and dance time again. So am I. What song are we going to learn today? Aren't you curious? Definitely. What song are we doing today? Wow, the title is, It is Possible with God. It should be very nice. Let's go and sing together. Follow, Follow us. us. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Wasn't it interesting? Yes, also the lyrics, it is possible with God, were very impressive. Do you think so, children? Let's learn motion one by one. What is impossible with men? What? This motion expresses what? And can you see this hand shape? It's a sign language. It means impossible. And man, this means everyone. It's possible. It's possible with God. Snap your finger and everything is possible with God. God has no beginning or end. We express God like this and it's beginning and the end. He is limitless. He is limitless. We do this continually as God's work is limitless. So we can do all things with Him. We pretend like we're holding God's hand because when we're holding His hand, we can do everything in Him. He is limitless in all ways. Now you are so excited because God's work is limitless. That's why we do this. And then after repeating this motion continually, you make a big heart at the end like this. Thank you for following us well. Now it's time to dance with music. Everyone stand up. 
and shake your body. Here, Here we go. go. Are you ready? Dancers, good job! Teacher Lulu, let's do it again. Otherwise, our children will be sad. Okay, don't worry. Let's do it together. One, One more time. time. Are you ready? Wow, our friends, you did a really good job. Clap for yourselves. Teacher John, you said you have shortcomings. Don't worry, I have a story for you. It will give you a lesson on what we can do when we are lacking. Story in life. Let's go! Do you know a beautiful city called LA? The full name of LA is Los Angeles, which means angels in Spanish. There is Universal Studio, which is a world-class tourist attraction. It is a good city to live in, nicknamed the City of Angels. But, everyone, do you know what the city looked like in the beginning? A long time ago, it was a desolate desert where trees and grass couldn't grow. You know what a desert is, don't you? 
It's a really, really difficult place to develop because it's hard to get water. But now it's not only a great city to live in, it's also a state with the highest agricultural production in the United States. How did this desolate desert turn into the largest city in the United States? The secret lies with the Colorado River, 400 kilometers away from LA. People connected pipes to the far Colorado River to bring the water into the desert. When the river was drawn into the large pipes, the water was supplied through a small pipe again. LA began to turn into a place where people could live. It became a beautiful land where flowers bloom, trees grow, birds cheap and many people from the whole world flock to build houses, to build schools and to do business, making it a big city. After attracting the river, LA is no longer a desert. Change took place when LA was connected to the river. Everyone, have you ever felt like you're lacking? Oh, I'm not good at this, I'm not good at that. What is wrong with me? Have you ever had a time when you think like this? Just as LA was a desert without water, it became a wonderful city just by connecting to the Colorado River. We can be wonderful people who do great things if we are connected to God. Come near to God when you have no wisdom, no hope and no strength. When God and our hearts are connected, God's wisdom, hope and strength will become ours and we become people who do amazing things. Bye-bye! Wow, it's amazing! Yes, a desert which had no water became a big city in America just because it received water connecting the pipe with the Colorado River. Wow, I learned a lot through this story. Though I'm lacking, if I'm connected with mighty God, then I can receive His wisdom. That's right! Today we will meet a king who received his wisdom from God in the Bible. Let's go listen to that amazing story. Word of Wisdom! I am Teacher Lolo and welcome to this week's Word of Wisdom. This week we will be talking about King Solomon, wisdom that comes from knowing my weakness. After King David had reigned for a long time, it was time for him to choose who would succeed him on the throne. Solomon, who was the son of Bathsheba, who had been Uriah's wife, was chosen by God. Solomon was lacking because of his birth background. But he was anointed as king through the will of God by Zadok the priest and prophet Nathan. One day, Solomon was sleeping. God appeared to him in a dream and said to him, Ask. What shall I give you? Children, what do you think King Solomon said? If you were Solomon, what would you ask for? Delicious food? To be smart? To study well? Or to have a handsome face? I want to be rich. Delicious neck. I want to be strong. Well, listen to what he said to God. He said that, I am your servant. Though he was a king, he knew that he was nothing but a servant in a country that God reigned. 
He went on to say that I am a little child. Huh? <laughs> little child? He was a big adult, isn't it? But in his mind, he was a little child who can do nothing by himself without God. But some of us, though we are like little child, there are some of us who live like a king of our lives, thinking that, oh, I can do everything for myself. Solomon was different. He also said, I don't know how to go out and come in. Since he was born, he was a prince living in a palace. However, he thought that his experience was nothing before God. And lastly, he said, For who is able to judge this great people of yours? He came to realize that he is totally lacking to guide the people of God with his knowledge, experience, and power. That's why he needed the heart of God and wisdom from God. Solomon knew that he was nothing and God is almighty. So he asked God for his heart and his wisdom. Solomon knew his weaknesses and where he lacked. That is why he was able to ask for wisdom of God. Children, listen well while I tell you a story showing King Solomon's wisdom. One day while King Solomon was in his palace, two women who were harlots came to him and one of the women said, Oh my Lord, this woman and I dwell in the same house and I gave birth while she was in the house. Then it happened that that day after I gave birth that this woman also gave birth. And we were together. No one was with us in the house except the two of us in the house. And this woman's son died on the night because she lay on him. So she arose in the middle of the night and took my son from my side while your maid servant slept and laid him on her bosom and laid her dead son on my bosom. And when I rose in the morning to nurse my son, there he was dead. But when I examined him in the morning, indeed he was not my son whom I had born. However, the other woman fervently denied the first woman's son and also claimed that the alive son was her son and that the dead son was the first woman's son. Then the king said, the one says, this is my son who lives, and your son is the dead one. And the other says, no, but your son is the dead one, and my son is the living one. So then, King Solomon fell into a very deep thought. And he told his servants to bring his sword. Then he said, Divide the living child into two and give half one and half to the other. Then the first woman spoke to the king for she yearned compassion for her son and she said, Oh my lord, give her the living child and by no means kill him. However, the other woman said, let him be neither mine nor yours. Divide him. So the king was able to see which woman was the mother to the living child because she had compassion for her child and the other woman wanted the child to die just as her child had died. Actually, people only see the outward appearance. However, King Solomon had the wisdom to see the heart of people. All of Israel heard of the king's judgment and feared him, for they could see that the wisdom of God was with him to administer judgment. That is why King Solomon is known as the wisest king ever. And during his reign, people used shalom to greet each other, which means 
peace because during his reign there was peace and there was also prosperity in the country. On the earth, there is a way which we use. Likewise, in heaven, there is also a way for airplanes to travel. Also, the heart has a way that it flows. So, how does electricity flow? Through electrical wires. Yes, our houses are connected with the power station through electrical wire so that we have light and are able to use electricity. And how does water flow? Through water pipe! Yes, they transport the water from the dam to our houses and homes. Our heart also flows through the heart. If our hearts are connected with the heart of God, then things of God can flow into us. So though we are lacking in many parts, that's not a problem. Why? Look, when you have no hope, if your heart is connected with God, then hope will be able to flow into you. God's wisdom will be able to flow to us and we will become wise as King Solomon and God's power will be able to flow to us. And big secret, our heart can be connected with God through believing his words. Let us all read together. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4 verse 13 Children, do you believe this word? Yes! Yes. Everyone, wisdom comes from knowing our weakness. When we are weak, God can be our power. When we are foolish, God can be our wisdom. When we are sinner, Jesus became our savior. I hope your heart is connected with God's so that you can receive his wisdom, power, hope, and all his righteousness. Children, thank you so much for coming to Word of Wisdom. See you next time. Bye! Thank you, teacher, for such a precious word. From now on, I will not worry because of my weakness. I will come to God and ask His power and wisdom and everything. Yes, everything is possible with God. Now, let's move to our creative work. Bible, Bible Craft! Sophie and I'm teacher Lulu. Everyone, are you enjoying today's Sunday school? Yes, that's nice. But these days it is very hot. Oh, oh, very hot. hot. That's why today we are going to make our own fan. Wow, I am so excited. Let's make one quickly. First, please prepare materials. We will need a hot pot like a box paper, a bowl, a pair of scissors, glue, color pencil, copper, a pen, and paper. We will make hand fan. But there, we will draw what we learned today during Sunday school. First, draw a circle on the hot pot using a bowl and cut it out carefully.
and draw two circles on the paper as well. It will be used to draw what we learnt today. Now we will start drawing. Today we listen to the word about King Solomon. He asked God for wisdom. When we come to realize our weakness, we can come to God with that. What kind of weak point do you have and what would you ask God for? I'm so weak, I ask God for help. I want to preach this gospel to my friends. So I ask God for wisdom and strength for me to preach the gospel. Mm, it is hard for me to study, especially math. I want to ask God for wisdom. Wow, that's nice. Everyone remember, when we are weak, God can be our strength. When we have no wisdom, God can be our wisdom. When we are sinners, God can be our savior. Yes, now let's draw on this paper what we ask God for. Wow everyone, you are doing very well! Now on the other paper, we are going to write a Bible verse that we recited during Word of Wisdom time. Now, let's paste these papers on the hardboard. And make a hole which will be able to fit your fingers. Now we are done. Let's read this verse all together. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Wow, we are all amazing children of God. If you believe, we can do everything through Christ. We can receive power and wisdom from Christ in our weaknesses. 
our amazing children. See you next time. Bye.